Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this fun pink makeup look and everything. So first I'm starting off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just to kind of prime my skin and just hydrate it and this is amazing. And then I'm going to go straight on to the eyeshadow. I actually already did my other eye because I just wanted to do the one eye and everything just so it's perfect. So I'm first priming my Herb Decay Primer Potion which is my favorite. Then for this look, I'm using my chocolate bonbons palette, and the first color I'm taking is Divinity. I'm just setting my lid with that, and that's just going to make sure that everything is set, and then I'm just blending it out a little bit because it got kind of crazy. And the other shadows I'm going to be applying after this are just going to be way more pigmented. And then I'm going to be applying Almond Truffle and Mocha in my crease, and these are just going to be a transition colors, and they're just going to define the crease also as well. And this is going to be my transition before I go on to more crease colors and lid colors and stuff like that. I'm just going to be blending these into my crease to give it that little definition first. Then I'm going to be taking the color Totally Fetch and placing this all over my lid. This is going to get to being the fun part of this look. It's just this very pink color and I just think it's very fun for like, you know, like just a fun occasion. Like if you're going out with friends or if you have like a date night. Yes, it's very bold and stuff, but it's just very fun. Fun. It's different and I'm also spraying my brush with a little bit of setting spray just because it doesn't apply super pigmented without it and it just applies way smoothly with this and I'm just going to be blending this all over my lid and getting it to be the perfect pigmentation which I'm going to work with and everything like that so I'm just going to let you watch this because it's kind of takes a little bit of time. I built my love like a castle in the sun. Now I'm going into my original chocolate bar palette and I'm just going to be taking the color salted caramel and applying this to my crease because I wanted it to be a tad bit warmer than it already was. So I'm just going to blend this into my crease to give it that nice color. Then I'm putting that pink color back on there and everything and then I'm going to go on to my face. And I'm first using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I really like this because it's very moisturizing and just feels really nice on the face. For foundation, I'm using my CoverGirl 3-in-1, which is my favorite, and I'm using it with my L'Oreal sponge, which I also love. It's amazing. It just applies my foundation very well, and I'm just going to speed through this part because I've applied foundation a million times here on my channel, like literally a million times. So, yeah. For concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape, which is another favorite of mine. I just love this. It gives you nice full coverage, which is great when you do something more dramatic and fun like this. So I'm just going to apply this and blend it out with my L'Oreal sponge as well. For powders, I've been using my Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. It's like their original foundation, but in matte form. And also, I've been using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and everything. And I use that all over my face, including my under eyes. Then I'm just going to be going in with that color Totally Fetch and just more intensifying it and everything, getting it to be that really bright pink. Then I'm also going to be blending the same colors used before into my crease and everything. And also using some colors from the Too Faced Chocolate bar like the salted caramel color just blending that into my crease and then intensifying the eyeshadow again then i'm going to be taking the highlight shade in this palette which is called satin sheets and i'm also be mixing a little bit of divinity with it because i love how that looks together <laughs> And then I'm just going to be filling in my brows with my Chella Eyebrow Pencil and Tantalizing Taupe. I'm filling in the inner part and then I'm just going to go over my brows. My brow routine isn't too complex like I always say. And then I'll also be using some brow gel and I'll be using Gimme Brow by Benefit. In my inner corners, I'm taking the color Satin Sheets and I'm just going to be really applying this and really just kind of like making that inner corner very highlighted. 
And then on the outer lid, just a tiny bit, I'm going to be taking black curtains just to add just like some more definition and darkness. Now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and applying some mascara. And for mascara today, I believe I'm going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash and also the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I like using multiple mascaras just to give added like definition. It also gives like an, a false eyelash look just because you're applying more mascaras on top of each other, which is my favorite. So I'm just going to apply these and let you watch because plain mascara is pretty simple and boring. And then on the lower lash line, I'm applying Bordeaux and Mocha mixed together, and this is going to give more definition. And I'm also going to be applying a little bit of the Roller Lash Mascara and everything, just to make everything like flow well together, I guess you could say. Now going on to the face, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Love Flash Blush in Your Love Is King. I just wanted to use this because I don't really use it too much and I really love it and I feel like it just goes with this look very well. Then for highlighter, I'm actually taking the color Satin Sheets as well and I'm just applying this to my face. Which might be weird because it is an eyeshadow but it's honestly like a really perfect highlight and I love using this when I use this palette and it's just really pretty. <laughs> Then to finish off the look, I'm going to be taking this L'Oreal lip paint in Topless and I really like this color. I love how it looks with the look. I just wanted to go with something more cooler toned just to finish off this look and I love it. It's so pretty. It's just the perfect color and I just feel like it sealed this look all together. And then I'm using the NYX Matte Setting Spray to just, just set everything and just make it to, like stay all day. And this is it for the look. I've always wanted to do a fun look like this, just something more dramatic, which I don't really do much on my channel. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any looks or videos you want to see me do next video on my channel. And please subscribe if you haven't already and also hit that notification bell down below to be notified. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! If I could take you up in